Right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Andrew Aldis. I'm the general manager of the Spa Bridlington, and it is an absolute delight to see so many people here today. An extraordinary number. Thank you so much for coming. We're here for a special reason. Uh, many years ago, uh, at the beginning of the 20th century, Wallace Hartley, probably the most noble of heroes from the Titanic, played here as part of the summer seasons for three years. And today, on the occasion of the launch of our new 2014 summer season, we wanted to mark it with something special. I'll leave Mike to talk more about that. But Mike, who is a local historian, is going to tell you a little bit of how um, what happened today came about, and then we'll pass over to the newest community choir in Bridlington, Coastal Voices, who are all like over here dressed in blue, and they will wow you before we pass over to the chairman of the East Riding of Yorkshire Council, Councillor Patricia O'Neill, to unveil a blue plaque to Wallace Hartley, the band leader on the Titanic. But without further ado, I'd like to pass over to Mike Wilson, local historian, to explain why we're all here. Good evening, everyone, and everything that Andrew says about the, the weather and everything, it's fantastic. However, some years ago, a schoolboy came into my office and told me he was going to raise the Bonhomme Richard. The Bonhomme Richard was John Paul Jones's ship in the Battle of Flamborough Head in 1779. And when the young man left my office, I felt just privately, I scoffed at the idea that this young man was going to do this. However, Richard Jones, who's his name, has now accomplished many things. He was instrumental in furnishing a gravestone for Bridlington's great gay lifeboat hero, Richard Bedlington. It hadn't been done. And he raised money for plaques to commemorate the Lockington rail crash of 80, 1986, the Burton Agnes prisoner of war truck disaster of 1947, and the 1975 Moorgate train crash. That young man has now instigated the provision of a plaque to celebrate the life and work of Wallace Hartley, who at one time led an orchestra at the Spa Royal Hall in the early 1900s. As we know, Wallace Hartley was playing his violin as the Titanic slipped between, beneath the waves in 1912. His violin was recently discovered in Bridlington and was sold for 900,000. Richard Jones is currently at sea serving in the Royal Navy and I would like to thank him for his work on behalf of the Spa Royal Hall and the East Riding Council of Yorkshire. Thank you very much. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we are here to celebrate, uh, even though he became famous by uh, losing his life on the Titanic, we are here to celebrate his life. However, the last, uh, the last thing he did in his life was to play on the violin with the other band members, Nearer My God to Thee. And this is what Coastal Voices will perform for you now. <laughs> to have been invited this evening to unveil another blue plaque in recognition of another famous resident of Bridlington, uh, Wallace Hartley. Wallace Hartley became famous for leading the eight members of a band 
at the RMS Tit as the RMS Titanic sank on the 15th of April 1912. He died in the sinking and is recognised as one of the noblest heroes of the events. Although he was born and raised in Colne in Lancashire, Wallace Hartley left home in 1902 to join the Municipal Orchestra, which was based in Bridlington. It's very, it's very short. <laughs> he performed on a number of ocean liners before joining the Titanic as band leader in April 1912. The unveiling of this plaque will ensure that the people of this town will always remember their famous resident, Wallace Hartley. Mount I also say that we've been doing some scarving around today and we think it may be a distant relative of your town mayor. So we're going to continue that pursuit and see if we can prove it. Thank you. Already? Three, two, two one. one. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in the next half an hour we commence our summer season with a, a performance of Showtime, travelling across the world. If you're not standing here with a ticket, then really you need to be getting one. So get yourselves into the box office, get a ticket and thank you for coming. Thank you very much.